There hasn't exactly been any terribly exciting smartphones unveiled here at CES 2012, but with Mobile World Congress just around the corner, perhaps that's hardly surprising. Anyway, we've rounded up our top five smartphones of the show, and here they are. In no particular order, we'll start with the Sony Xperia S. This is Sony's first smartphone to be announced independently of Ericsson. It runs the Android operating system, has a 12 megapixel rear-facing camera, and the 4.3-inch display offers plenty of space for decent web browsing and video watching. Next up, we have the LG Spectrum, another Android device. But it's the display on this model that sets it apart from the crowd, at least according to LG. And in our hands-on time with it, it certainly was quite impressive. Video playback was great on the 720 by 1280 resolution 4.5 inch display and LG has used some of the technology it uses in its tellies to improve the picture quality. And next we have the Huawei P1S. This phone, according to Huawei, is the slimmest phone ever. It measures 6.68 millimeters thick at its slimmest point. Once again, it's an Android device. It has a 1.5 GHz dual-core processor, a gig of RAM, and a decent 4.3-inch high-resolution display. Then we move on to the Asus Padphone. Now this handset also qualifies for our top tablet roundup. It's more than just a handset, it's a handset that comes with a tablet in which it can be docked. The phone works perfectly well on its own, but when docked with a tablet, it offers you the processing capabilities of the handset through a 10-inch screen. We've seen something similar from Motorola before, the Atrix, and it didn't exactly take off, so it'll be interesting to see how the pad phone performs when it finally launches. And finally, we move on to the Motorola Defy Mini, because sometimes you want that simple smartphone. Like the previous Motorola, it's made of Gorilla Glass, so should withstand the odd knock, and it has grommets so that water won't be able to get into any of its connectors. It's a pretty standard phone with a 3.2 inch screen and a 3.2 megapixel camera. Like the others, this also runs Android OS. Also on show at CES is the Nokia Lumia 900, however it doesn't quite qualify for our list as we don't expect it to come to the UK. So let us know which one of these handsets you like the most. Just go to our website at which.co.uk forward slash CES 2012.